left. There's Hori Sako on the right. Legends. These are two fighting game legends throwing down here. Uh, and everybody knows that, you know, this is a matchup that is so interesting to watch. It's whether, you know, there can be the suffocating offense of Chun-Li and the buttons, the neutral, kind of the oppression at that range, or whether Daigo can pull off the miracles. Right. Uh, I it's mean, it's going to be interesting. We've seen Sako uh, play some amazing matches. Saw him play versus Justin, doing some amazing blocks on on his toes the entire time. Right. And of course, Daigo, not to be questioned, always solid as can Round be. One. And all it takes is one instant for him to make that turnaround Fight. and come back. Starts it off early. Couple of parries. The nice part about that, you take no chip. You just parry those fireballs, build a little V gauge. Chip for yourself. Oh, Good slide. Sako's ready. Nice crouch and strong under that fireball right there. This match is going to be a grind. This, this is going to be, gonna be a grind. It's going to take whoever doesn't crack, whoever stays solid for all of this time. And you can see the game plan from Daigo, right? Suffocate at that range where it's tough for Chun-Li to get around the fireball. Oh, that's a punish. And you saw Sako. You see Sako playing at that range to try to react to the fireball but crouching strong. But Daigo just moves back a little further, throws that fireball, throwing off the timing of that crouching slide. Oh, yeah, gets in there. Stun. Man, oh, what a wow. confirm from Sako. Optimizes. And we're just about 50 seconds in right now, and there's a stun. So much damage right there. Can Daigo Me? bring it Fireball, back? too? Whoa. Sako has very interesting setups. They're, they're very peculiar compared to a lot of Chun-Li players. Yeah, he has a lot of offset uh, setups that make sure that you're trying to hit a button in the middle. Gives it maximum time to get a confirm a combo and go on for max damage. Did you see Daigo do nothing at the start of that round yeah. for like a couple seconds? Oh, nice B skill to get in. Nice Blocks. patience here by Daigo. Oh, crowd. He's out of range for the short whip punish. Those old man footsies taking over right now. You see him back. You see Sako backing up to that range again. He wants to, he wants to be able to do that on reaction every time. Man, that low medium kick so threatening. Again, another solo box is from Daigo. It really seems like so far Sako is just smothering and Daigo's having trouble figuring out any way to fight out. And Daigo seems like he's content at waiting for his proper time. Um, uses the V reversal to get out, gets a little ground back, but Sako's not giving up any ground space right now. Man, so risky are these close range fireballs from Daigo. Oh, nice confirm off the jab. Interrupt again. Uh oh, there's the trigger. Daigo has a chance right now. Get Jump back. There's so much meter, oh. Daigo. Okay. Oh, wake up Challenge. spinning bird. Oh, and that's gonna be it. First game goes to Hori Sako, and I feel like Daigo had a chance right there. Yeah, after that Tatsu especially, you never know. Yeah. You never know what this guy is gonna do. Uh, but that was scary, the low medium kick, and then confirmed at the end by Sako. Good first game for himself. Well, it's really scary. I mean, on knockdown, if any Chun Li has meter, you're gonna second guess going in. Right. Jumping or even having a wake up attack is not fast enough, because if you guess wrong, you're getting thrown to the other side of the screen. Crush counter, Sako gets set up here. Okay, interesting. Oh, this close range footsie. This is where Sako is so excellent. And nice pitch to the corner. We've seen a lot of game changing situations right here in the corner. Look at this fireball game. He just charges it up in his face. Like right in his face, so disrespectful. How many, how many of these is he going to throw, right? Oh my god. That was like 10 fireballs. So why not? Nice, wait right there, can't do anything here. Takes a chance to take a step forward, keeps that pressure up. Oh, oh. Combo after, yeah. Daigo, getting caught, hit a lot of buttons right now. Here's the situation we saw last time. Oh, he oh, threw the fireball too close and Sako gets the punish. Daigo was real dangerous there with all that meter, but man, Sako's spacing is excellent. Game two, round one, goes to Sako right now. So what do you do now? Do you get the hit and spin that meter? Or do you yeah, wait? He's got to, right? Yeah. He hasn't had many chances to hit Sako so far. Ooh, nice whip punish right there with the low forward. Now, oh, jump in, not close enough, and no confirm from Sako. That was a big whip from Daigo Trade. Oh got my him. god. Wake up buttons works. And now Sako trying to fight back on the sleeve. Punish. Oh. Great punish on that. Jump back, throw tech. Needs to be really careful. Look at that range. Oh, what? You that was the beat trick to stop the fireball, keep the pressure. Tiger with so many resources available. No whip punish. Sako needs to be careful. He is up around, but you know Daigo is looking for a chance to confirm. Well, all that critical art in one instant. 
Not gonna be able to get anything. Oh my Got god, stand strong. And it's enough just like that. Yeah, I gotta wonder what Sokka tried after that EX legs. Maybe jump away or something, but Daigo clipped him. Final round. Fight. Gonna put us to a final round. Oh, the follow up. Nice momentum starter right there. And finds a jab on Wake Up. Nice life lead here by Sokka. Jump out, but immediate back throw. Daigo still stuck in this corner. Chun Li's crouching hitbox gets really funky when you're trying to cross it up. <laughs> oh, yeah, Daigo out of it. Okay, well, he grabs her anyway. And this point blank fireball from Daigo. This it's fireball such a risk. Game is ridiculous. Walk up throw. Again. Okay. Plays it slow this time. Needs to be really careful. That B trigger is getting really stacked up. That fireball range is getting dangerously close. And you see Sako moving into range. Yeah, you know what he wants. That slide or fierce in his B trigger. Oh. Quick punish. Oh, Tatsu. Oh, and that's going to be the match. Ooh, man. Yo, Tatsu? Oh, my God. He walked for it before he did it. <laughs> that's crazy. You Just win. Daigo things. Think <laughs> Just Daigo things. Just Daigo things. All right, game three. They ready up. Round one. Fight. I, I, not man, moving. I cannot believe he just enters the matrix at the start of every round. Does not move. Nice block right there and reaction. There's a standing light kick for the end here. Block on the other side too from Daigo. Oh, fresh counter sweep. Set up. That probably was a throw from Daigo. Sako reading it this time. That fierce, that's good for Daigo to block. It's gonna build him B gauge. And look at this veteran fireball game from Daigo. And Sako's not jumping. That's the scariest part, is that Sako will not jump despite all these close range oh, fireballs. Yeah. These are grown men playing Street Fighter. <laughs> Adults. <laughs> Daigo content to walk out and let that B trigger of hers just run out. Most of it's gone now, whip punish. Nice jump, Roundhouse reacts with the EX Fireball. Jab check and the hit confirms Sako. Needs to be really careful. You see Daigo, yeah, he's okay with playing back and then sudden EX Fireball. He's doing such a good job of mixing up the neutral now. And Daigo. it feels like Sako is chasing too much. Daigo just looks so comfortable getting out of range of everything chun -Li has. Like you said, starts off the round, does a parry or two, gets a little big gauge, like, yeah, I'm not scared, now let's fight. Yeah, he's really okay with blocking a lot of these Chun-Li fireballs and more normals. And building up that V-Gage. Tatsu out of there. Holds his ground for a bit. And the solar plexus again. And we go back to the fireball game. He throws like one or two fireballs, moves around a little bit, sees how you react, and goes from there. I like it. Very slow and steady game plan. He has his V-Trigger now, which means he can go for that sweep. And he's comfortable doing this because Chun Li does not have B trigger. So he can play this fireball game with not too much worry of big damage to follow. Man, there's the dash up. Daigo, such an interesting oh. take on this neutral game. Again. Again. Fireball. Oh my fireball. Man, this dude. Other side. All right, now Daigo to the corner. He's got so many resources available, though. And the patience. Uh oh. You got to be careful about stand medium kick now from Daigo in the V trigger. As well as Sako. He's. He needs to be wary because he can definitely crouch medium punch trigger. Something good can happen. The walk up patience from Daigo, not to get quick low. Yo, we're almost at 25 seconds left in the second round here. Just chipping away right now. 20 seconds oh, left. Oh, we got him super, yes. Right through. Sick reactions from Sako. What a crazy react. Heavy punch, heavy kick, that's all you need. Got to hit them together. Good work. And that's a lot of uh, resources from Sako, but uh, worth it to get the round. But you see, Sako just realized that Daigo's willing to wait that round. So now he has to find another option in. He has to find a way to open up Daigo and Look, make him vulnerable. I just really want him to move at the start of the round. Oh, don't you try that on me. Yeah, one of the few times he's even gone to that air approach and Daigo immediately uppercut. Look at the footsies right now. Oh, tries to catch the... Just walks up and gets a throw. Sako a little afraid right now. Yeah, Daigo, his ground game is so crazy. Oh, wow. Same side this time. Nice confirm into the combo. And there's the Tatsu. Nice back roundhouse right there. The reversal, reversal through, through. And you can see the gray damage. There's the activation. Daigo in a good spot right now. Yeah, fighting, oh. fighting for space with the EX Fireball. Again. Wow, just gets hit by EX Fireball for no reason. Dash up, crouching light kick. 
Oh, Michael Plank's still counting. safe. Look at him, he's out of there. He is not fighting, no committal from Daigo. He's just he's giving up the space and then sudden attack. You see Sako now willing to make those Overhead. steps forward just to make sure that Daigo isn't in range to play that fireball game. He's been chipping him out. You he win. makes him block one fireball and then he moves around. Checks his reaction and then he goes for either throw, another fireball, maybe a low forward, just to check. Man, it's such a crazy game plan from Daigo. Like, the plan is to do Almost nothing. Yeah. It's such a hard game plan to execute, right? Like, you just, you naturally when you play games, you just want to do something. But to do absolutely nothing is so impressive. Solar plexus. Nice. Oh, got him. Oh, that big roundhouse right there. Oh, missed the jump. The murder jump set up. Nice dash up behind the EX fireball. Sako gets the sweep. I go down a lot now. This round, I think nothing cannot be the plan. Yeah, gotta be a little bit more active. You need to be careful. Sako getting really close to that E trigger right now. There's the trigger from Daigo. Solar plexus. Jab, fireball. Not a combo. Nice activation off of that standing fears. The jump out, yeah. Nice. First time we see him use that Tatsu to get out. Still gets put by the EX legs. Patience. Oh, okay. just out of range. Here comes Daigo. He does have critical art available. No trigger, though. Oh, yeah. Nice. Float. Good work from Sako. Oh, the tech. off of me. You gotta no be so oh wary. Oh my god. Look, this is so dangerous, and now he's in kill range. Yeah, one critical arc to kill. 30 seconds, a long time for Daigo. Oh, he thought he had it. Unsafe. Yeah, and there's nice. the roundhouse after. That would have killed. That definitely would have killed. So Sako had to be careful about that. Had he walked into it, it would have been dead. Sako hitting back at just the exact moment. There's that slide under the fireball. Right in the range of that fireball game again. It's so crazy to throw so many close range fireballs and Sako. The patience to walk and block the whole way. And you see Sako still not committing to that slide to try to get under him this time. Tries to go for the overhead. Nice forward medium punch. And they're just kind of slugging it out in the middle of the screen right now. Life's pretty even. Nice block on that cross under. Top two out of there from Daigo. Punish. Yeah. Sako is in range. Nice, go for it, EX Fireball, here comes the push, nice tick. Like a fighting back with the normals. He's got V-Trigger on deck, which means he can go for that sweep. Wow, suddenly really close to trigger, there it is. Yeah, Daigo with the late V-Reversal, Tatsu again. Oh, it's time to throw. Oh, there it is. Not gonna kill, but it's gonna hurt. Throw Tycho S and no chase. Oh my god, I thought he was gonna throw. Oh, Hit him. Gets He's one. Oh wow. Tries to get the sweep. Oh, the, the, the walk crush. into the crush counter sweep. And you see Sako look to the heavens. Like what Final just happened? This could be the last round here. Daigo on match point. Nice slide. And now you see Sako going back to that range. Where he can kind of react. And then walk forward. Try to make Daigo react to something. That way he can get the crush counter punish. And right now it's looking good for Sako. Yes, maximizes. Oh, wake up. The patient man, Tiger. So patient. Oh, man. Needs to be really careful. Tiger getting really close to critical art. And you know what happens. If you give him a chance. Spent. Yeah, no full resources now for Tiger. Couple of bars, but no V-Trigger. Really careful right now. Oh, my God. Go for a fireball. There's the EX. Background house. Small trade. Get There's through. another EX fireball. Oh, Ooh. he could have uppercut, but oh, now. Oh, wow. Tatsu, it should be unsafe. Punish. There it is. Big, big bet from Daigo there. And he really thinks he has Sako figured out. Holy Trying man. to crack that egg. And Sako's like, nah, man. I'm not going to backdash. I'm not going to give you what you want. Yeah, and he stand blocked the, the Tatsu for maximum punish after, too. It's good awareness from Sako. Yeah, what right. a grind. We mentioned this one. This one, you're in for the long haul. This is a good slow paced. Very Street Fighter y match. Over, yeah. Daigo ready. There's only been a few times the air approach. That staggered low. Look at the stun he's built. Now Daigo's turning on the offense. He's being really careful with range. We've seen Daigo control the games that he's won strictly by this fireball range that he's playing at. You see Sako try to push to the corner. Staggered low again. Man, Daigo really much more active, and there's oh. that low again, and keeps connecting. 
this is gonna be too good. Lots of life lost there by Daigo. Needs to be really careful. Anything is gonna kill right now. In the front. Oh. One more. He's so close to stun. Stun. Oh, wow. And there it is. Just like A that. No Sako pixel brings it back. win. The disappointment that's happening right now. I'm, just, I'm looking at people in the crowd shaking their heads like, no. Oh, Big nice jump. jump in. Oh, Stop. wow. Confirmed from Sako. For medium punch confirmed. And look at this pressure. We saw this in the first two games. The Sako took it pretty convincingly. An exact same way to get out. There's Tatsu, and there's a punish. Things not looking too good for Daigo right now. Down one game. Well, two games in a round. He's gonna need it to stay alive. Walk up EX legs. Oh, really close. Lucky there was EX fireball. Another from Daigo just to check. Big jump. Back throw. What's gonna happen? Trigger is available. Oh. EX legs, yes. What's gonna now, happen Sako, right now? Just one mix up. Get off of me. Press counter. Activate trigger. Oh Got my him. god! Why would you dash up? <laughs> Because he's Daigo, Steve, and it's final round. What? Daigo versus Sako. No meter left for Sako. It was all committed in the last round. No uppercut either. Wow. It's all oh, the Tatsu. What a block uh, from Daigo. Uh, uh, the uh, Tatsu. Overhead good block from block. Sako. Sako gets to confirm off a four medium punch. Let's see what's gonna happen. Huge, huge swing. Nice re reversal and it's blocked by Sako. He keeps the pressure up. He's out of there. Daigo with the patience. The escape. V reversal. Now Daigo has space, but he goes in. Yeah, that V reversal. Knocks out the top of the rest of that trigger. Oh. Surprise bird. Oh my god, no trigger though. Got to be careful. Daigo with full critical art now. Oh, he oh walks up. Oh, my God. Gets the throw. Oh. Oh. Spend oh, some bar. Some another. Another. It was whipped. Oh, my it God. It whipped at the last second. Look at Daigo. He's like, yeah, man, what happened? But I'll take it. <laughs> I don't. Did you see the armor kick? I don't. Oh, my I, I guess. God. What a great set, though, man. That was crazy. And Hori Sako goes home. Hyper Exus Daigo Umahara. Jesus. If I had on a tie, I would be loosening it up right now. <laughs> Steve, oh, man. <laughs> sometimes the heavens just align. <laughs> and I feel like if that was if that was me, I would have